we commanded to teach by Jesus the Christ. What are we commanded to teach? The law and the commandments. The law and the commandments. So what in blazes are you pork chop eating preachers teaching? Are you teaching the law? Are you teaching the commandments? No. And all you blacks and Latinos that follow those ministers that go around you to God's laws are destroyed. You better head for the hills. You better run. Christ never said the laws are destroyed. So where'd you get that from? I'm going to tell you where you got it from. You got it from your slave master. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. Mm -hmm. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. Go ahead. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Read it again. Ye are the light of the world. Stop. What does Christ mean? You are the light of the world. Because you got every dumb little child in church talking about this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. You don't know what you're saying. Hold that. Proverbs 6 and 23. What does it mean? You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And again, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Why did he call us a city that is set on a hill? What did Christ mean about that? Huh? Isaiah 2. I'm going to show you what he meant in the spirit about a city that is set upon a hill cannot be hid. Come on. Isaiah 2, verse 1 through 5. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. The word that Isaiah the son of Amar saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. What does it mean the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains? Meaning the nation of Israel shall be exalted above all governments on the earth. Go ahead. And shall be exalted above the hill. Come on. And all nations shall flow unto it. Now that's the part right there you get tripped up on. And all nations shall flow unto it. Get Jeremiah 50, verse 4 and 5. Just how you know that part above it ain't talking about all the other races coming up to Jerusalem. Because Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 4. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together. The children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together. Together. Come on. Going and weeping they shall go. Going and weeping we shall go. And seek the Lord their God. And seek the Lord our God. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces to the word, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. See what we're going to say? Come and let us join ourselves unto the Lord in a perpetual covenant. Go back to... Also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord to be his servants. Every one that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar. For mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. Now you know that part above it ain't talking about all the other races coming up to Jerusalem because... He said... It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Now you know that part above it ain't talking about all the other races coming up to Jerusalem, because it said he shall judge among the nations, and what's going to happen, and shall we keep going? And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. What is this comforter that we're going to be given? The Holy Spirit. Read it again. Read 15 and 16 together. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. So what's the stipulation for getting the Holy Spirit? You must be keeping the commandments. That's what keep going. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. What is this comforter that we're going to be given? The Holy Spirit. Read it again. Read 15 and 16 together. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. So what's the stipulation for getting the Holy Spirit? You must be keeping the commandments. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your souls, saying, Ye must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. The Holy Spirit. Read it again. Read 15 and 
Romans 16 again. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. So what's the stipulation for getting the Holy Spirit? You must be keeping the commandments. That's what it seems good unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have sent therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same things by mouth. For it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that ye abstain from meats offered to idols, and from blood, and from things strangled, and from fornication, from which if ye keep yourselves, ye shall do well. What's the stipulation for getting the Holy Spirit? You must be keeping the commandments. That's what Christ what happens next. Now that you're getting cut in the scriptures about the law is not destroyed, you know what you jump to now and go, love. Where's the love of Jesus? We got the love. That's what you got. A lot of you black women right now, I hear you. I love. What about love? See, there's something wrong with them, brother. They never talk about love. You don't know nothing about love. You. I would they were even cut off, which trouble you. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. You've never experienced love. You've never taught love. Okay? John 14 and 15. John chapter 14 verse 15. Uh -huh. If you love me, forever, your my command. What did Christ say? If you love so me, shall the my command. command. So do you black men and black men, and one man black shall be women you and black women, do you so love the Lord? Do you love the black Messiah called Jesus the Christ? Because if you did, you would keep the commandments. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. If you did, you would keep the commandments. Read that part again. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But you liars! Every last one of you. Okay? Now, jump down to verse 21. Verse 21. Watch this. He that hath my commandments. He that hath my commandments. And keepeth them. And what? And keepeth them. He is that loveth me. That's the one that... Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Black woman, you've never had the Holy Spirit. You've never had the comfort in your life, okay? That's why you go, who are you, black woman in the church? I'm a child of God. That's all I know. I'm a child. I'm a Baptist. Uh, you don't know. Who are you, black minister in the church? Uh, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born of a child of God and the child. You don't know who Not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. You are. So the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, has revealed nothing to you. But nothing. Now you understand what love is. You are saying a lot of you thought you had the understanding, but you realize it now. You don't have the understanding of what God is all about, what the Bible is all about, okay? How do you understand, do you understand what love is? You, you see, a lot of you thought you had the understanding, but you realize it now. You don't have the understanding of what God is all about, what the Bible is all about, okay? 